So instead of doing just all these long, like, 10-minute tutorials, I thought I'd start doing some quick ones that are just, like, a minute or two. So for this one, I just wanted to quickly cover how to uh, utilize having multiple maps in the same session so that a render will render on multiple maps. Uh, there's two different ways to do that right now. The annoying way is to go to unload map and then go to load map and then reload constantly between shots what you need. That's annoying and it doesn't work for multiple renders. If you want to make it so you can re have multiple maps in a single render, uh, you just have to follow this. So go to your element viewer here. If that's not open, if it's closed here, just hit F9 or uh, go under window here and go to element viewer. If you go under session and then active clip and session, you can find by hitting the home button. Under active clip, you'll see something called map name. This is the over, well, the like the master map name. And in this case, it's going to be the stage one. Uh, first thing you want to do is we want to delete that empty it. So without it defaulting to that map, you can actually manually change it. So now you have to go and assign it to each individual clip. This will mean that every clip will have to have one assigned no matter what, otherwise it won't work. So we're going to go here, and for this one I want to have this stage, so we're going to show an element viewer, go down and find the map name, and we're going to do the same thing. So I'm going to do stage big BSP, and then that one's assigned. We'll go to the next one, show an element viewer, we're going to do desert test BSP. And you'll notice right now, now it's assigned to a different map. Therefore, everything you see is not loaded right. It's going to say wrong map. This is kind of a downside to this, but uh, I'll show you in a second here. So go to this one. We're just going to do black void. All right. So now this map, this one's going to look fine, but any of those ones that you've changed the map for are not going to look right. You'll have to actually change that map to some that one specifically to make that work when you need to work on it. That's the one downside to the other method where you might be able to work with it a little easier, but this is the plus side of you can now have the multiple renders. So, um, or save multiple renders, doing a single render. So the if you want to change maps if you go to unload map reload map the one downside is it's going to go and uh, throw it back into the map name here if you want to do it without having to worry about destroying how you have everything set up if you go on the console and type in the command change level it'll come up with the the uh, recommended here and then type in the name here that's why i have the little text on here so i want to change it to desert test i'm going to type in desert test and no bsp this time just submit and it will go through the same process of loading the map as you did before and bam now this is, it says this is the wrong map but now this one actually does load right and now we're in a desert um so really that's all you have to do to do it now if you actually go through and you do a render when it goes to each shot it will load up the map prior and so you can do multiple maps on this one save file and have it render in just one render so i hope that helps um, and i'll hope to do some more of these little quickies in the future thanks